What's going on, everyone? Chris Jarzik, your, and I keep messing up my intro, Southwest Florida real estate advisor slash realtor, advisor realtor guy. Uh, thank you for checking out today's video. I hope you're having an amazing day. I certainly know I am. I'm gonna show you guys real quick, maybe, sort of. Hold on. Yep. The sun is shining. It's 80 degrees, another beautiful day here in southwest Florida. For today's video, I'm going to be taking you through another, I know, shocker, another <laughs> brand new construction home here in southwest Cape Coral. Although I do show northwest and southeast and other spots, but lately it's been southwest Cape Coral. So back in southwest Cape Coral, this is a three bedroom, three bath, three car garage, golf access pool home. Karen is not with us today, so I'm going to do my best to use this funny little gimbal thing and keep it, uh, you know, as non roller coaster ride as possible. I'm going to take it slow, walk you guys through. Uh, I've already been through the property. Looks very, very beautiful. I'm going to film one other property today. Karen is with a client, a uh, little impromptu showings. They came across the coast from. West Palm or Miami. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. Before I do, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for me. That will motivate me to bring you more of these wonderful home tours. So let's pause the video, flip it around, and give you guys a tour. Alrighty, guys. Let's back out the uh, camera here. Hope everyone's having a great day. This is the front of this beautiful property. Sits on a large corner lot next to another golf access property that is for sale give you guys a shot of i don't do much of the landscape it's usually interiors try to give you guys a little bit more today go slower through this process as you can see we got a little down frond right there that's a triple palm we've got a nice fence backyard We'll go ahead and get out back uh, shortly once we walk through this video. Three car garage. Um, the single car is on the left side closest to the house. One of my other pet peeves, I am not a big fan of the single car right there. I would prefer it over on this side here. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I just being weird about it or do people have a preference when it comes to that setup for the third car. We're going to come on in here. Here we go. Hey, look, there's no shiny, slippery tile, guys. I've been trying to find homes that do not have that super slick tile. This one is regular. Very, very odd for us to see that. We have the, uh, the regular old square tile. And yep, we're going to get to that uh, kitchen over there shortly. Oh, forgot to mention that uh, we do have a den as well. So if you need to work from home, you can definitely do so. Double door entry into the den. And we have our Pretty standard these days, fireplace, light feature, whatever you want to call it. Give you guys a shot here of the tray ceiling, well, double tray ceiling, crown molding with the fan. I do like this one, guys. It's not completely bright white. They actually have some color in here. Five and a quarter inch baseboards shot of the island right here slow it down i know we don't want to go on the roller coaster and there we have our outlet for your lamp or your massage chair or couch that reclines upper cabinets uh, looking like we've got some 42s tile backsplash with a decent amount of counter space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it up to Keith. Check the comments because Keith is a big stickler for 
the uh, counter space on the opposite side of the island. Here we have our deep farm style sink by Kohler. Let me know what you guys think of the granite choice as well. And we have a pantry right off of your island. Dining area over here could definitely fit a long table, probably eight to 10 chairs, depending. You've got some good space there to work with. And then you have also a nice view of your canal. Uh, I believe it was Keith who asked on one of the most recent home tours uh, about bridge heights. If you have any question about the bridge heights and canal access, just throw that comment down there and I will let you know. I have all of the bridge heights, all of the canal depths, the names of the canals, anything and everything. Here is, I don't want to call it a laundry room because it's not a separate room. It's right here when you walk in. The laundry is off of the garage. Got some 42 inch cabinets and a sink. Got a little step down here. Floor is painted, um, but it does not have your speckles for non-slip. Not sure why they went ahead and omitted that. And as we talked about in the beginning of the video, we have our two car garage on this side and our single on the opposite side. I usually like them flip flopped, but a three car in Florida, especially in our area where storage is a premium, uh, you definitely want to have a three car if you can get it. Because if you see right here, the attic access, the attics here in Florida get extremely hot, so you are very limited with what you can put up there for storage. Everything will become brittle and just flake and break away. Oh, forgot to touch on a little closet here. You can put your vacuum cleaner. And we also have another storage area here. Gonna go into guest bedroom number one. Pretty decent size, and it does have access to guest bathroom number one. Very nice tile and tub and shower combo. We've got solid surface countertop, nice vanity. Plenty of natural light in here, actually. Uh, I did not turn on, let's see. You get more light, but I don't want to turn it on because I don't know how the audio is gonna pick up that fan. Moving right along, we are going into guest bedroom number two. Transom there with plenty of natural light. You've got a closet space when you first walk in. Kind of a little nook over there where you could probably get away with a small desk. Tile throughout as we highlighted. And this will double as your pool bath as well as the bathroom for guest bedroom number two. Nice Listello work. Nice tile work here. Not quite sure if people like this kind of cutout. I feel like when I take a shower, I splash everything. I get water on the ceiling. No idea how or why I do it, but I don't know if this would work for me. And same vanity as we had in guest bathroom number one. We're gonna head on out to the primary Sweet. Give you guys another shot of the kitchen and living area with that beautiful pool set up with your golf access canal behind you. Here we are in the owner's suite or primary suite. 
as you can see, we've got a little bit of a design here on the wall with your transom, your tray ceiling with crown molding. And obviously you do get a nice view of the pool with your impact slider. Got impacts all around, sliders and windows. Oh, Karen would not have been able to avoid this one. She's probably happy she is not here right now. Here we go with owner's or primary owner closet. And we have a second closet here with a little bit more depth. Pretty standard, you guys have seen many, many toilets in my videos. We'll turn that off, fairly standard there. And we've got, oh, get that open. Another little storage area for the primary with one sink here and another sink over there. A little bit more counter space on this sink then on that side so i'm gonna figure maybe the lady of the house would take that uh no tub right here i don't really think there would be room for one so they opt to just leave this open you may be able to place something here not sure what and then we've got a shower with no disappointing no rain shower but I like what they did here because there is enough space between that light and that light where I can have a plumber come in and put one in if I was buying it. That's what I would do. We have a shower seat on this side as well as that side for the wraparound shower. Single shower head here and storage for all your shave items, body wash, hairspray, or hairspray. Shampoo, etc. Very clean lines, very nice tile work. I dig it. And now we are going to head out to the pool area for you guys. May have to pause this video real quick because of the safety switch. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and then we'll pick it up when we're outside. Or I thought I was going to pause it. Let's see. Hold on. Take two. All right. After the second attempt of pausing with this little gimbal thing that I hardly ever use, I was able to get outside without the alarm going off. Oh, as you can see, we have a little outdoor kitchen set up right here. Decent amount of counter space with a char broil grill. Good amount of uh, burgers on there. You can fit that. Chicken breasts, whatever you may want to eat. And here we have the, oh, it's bright. Beautiful pool area, sun shelf with some water features. These bad boys will spill over. And we have a good amount of outdoor living space you could put some chairs out here get yourself a tan and we do have also a fenced back yard and here's a shot of the back of the house with your metal roof these metal roofs generally last a long long time I'm going to hop down here, guys. Hopefully I don't... Uh, oh, no. I'm going to do the smart thing. As I get older, that drop gets further and further. So we're going to do uh, two steps here. I'm not a kid anymore. I'll be 46 coming up. Yeah, that would have been uh, a doozy there. I'm pretty certain you could put a cage if you so choose. But uh, I don't know. There's no trees around. There's no debris in the pool. People always say, well, all the mosquitoes and the bugs. Mosquitoes are not terrible in this section of Cape Coral. And this, guys, is your water frontage. It is not much, but it is golf access nonetheless. 
and you can definitely put a dock in here and have a boat. Give a shot of the backyard one more time. Then we're going to go on in and close this video out. Talk some new construction, talk buyer representation, and we'll take it from there. So let's head on in. I'll see you guys inside. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's home tour video. As usual, I will go ahead and put all of the specs for this property down in that description box below and my contact information on the screen and in the box below as well. Feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text if you have any questions about this home, buying homes in Southwest Florida, or anything real estate related. Always here, always happy to chat with you and review anything and everything real estate related. Once again, thank you for checking out today's video. I'm Chris Jarzik with MVP Realty, and I will see you on the next one.